Disturbing new specifics tonight in the death of a three-year-old boy with autism. Aiden Archer passed away last week. As 12 News Tim Elliott reports, investigators say his mother's boyfriend, Maurice Snyder, beat Aiden to death because he wouldn't stop crying, and that his mother, Megan Scott, did nothing to stop it. On a quiet south side Milwaukee street, no one knew the violent day that three-year-old Aiden Archer was having behind closed doors. He appeared lifeless, his head was back. Emergency crews 10 days ago found him unresponsive. Now, for the first time, detectives describe what they found. The child was on his back. His feet were bent up by his waist. Uh, he was, uh, and his uh, eyes were closed. Aiden suffered horrifying injuries consistent with child abuse, including a fractured skull and bite marks, according to the criminal complaint. Police say the abuse happened all day long while he was in the care of the mother's boyfriend. It also happened at least once while she was home and heard a loud noise. She looked around and she noticed that her son, Aiden, was now crying and he was clutching his stomach area. Later, while she was gone, a roommate called 911. Detective Billy Ball says Snyder told him it was all an accident. Aiden jumped up, ran towards the door, tripped on a toy, hit his head on the door, falling forward, and then fell backwards. The detective then read a transcript from a phone call between Snyder and a friend who told police Snyder was losing his patience with the nonverbal child. I'm so irritated, he won't stop crying. I can't take it. He's three and a half. He should talk by now. I don't know what he wants. I'm going to kill myself and everyone here if I don't get out of here. Snyder and Scott both pled not guilty to all charges. In Milwaukee, Tim Elliott, WISN 12 News. The mother is facing one count of failure to prevent bodily harm to a child. Snyder is charged with multiple counts of child abuse and neglect, as well as first-degree intentional homicide.